I've seen a couple of stories in the news which uh, have really made me laugh uh, again today. Um, obviously, laughing is good for your soul. And the Climate Intelligence Unit, they're keeping me young. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know what? Not only would I not go on that ever, I wouldn't even want to go to a port where it called that. The world's largest electric ship measuring 130 metres, launched by a Tasmanian boat builder. Manufacturers Incap built Hull 096 to run between Buenos Aires and Uruguay, dubbing it the most complex project it has ever undertaken. Let me just tell you, can you imagine being on that? <laughs> the, the, the HMS thermal runaway of the seas. Can you just imagine being on that? and it catching fire. It would be up in seconds, wouldn't it? You would be dead in the middle of the ocean. I, I just cannot think of a more stupid idea. An Australian boat builder has launched what it describes as the world's largest battery powered ship, describing it as a giant leap forward in sustainable shipping and the most important project it has ever done. And not only that, when it's gone into thermal runaway, all that, those toxic fumes, and then it'll sink. So you've got that with all that I mean, stuff in the sea. Inca, a manufacturer based in Tasmania, constructed the ship called Hull 096. After being contracted by the South American ferry operator, Bucubus, to build a vessel to run between the Argentinian capital Buenos Aires and Uruguay. Launching the ship in Hobart on Friday, the company said it would operate entirely on battery electric power, carrying up to 2,100 passengers and 225 vehicles across the River Plate. Now, I seem to remember seeing a film um, when I was younger called Battle of the River Plate. But I tell you what, I bet there wasn't as much explosives used then than there is in that ship. Which forms a border between Argentina and Uruguay. We've been building world leading vessels here in Tasmania for more than four decades and Hull 096 is the most ambitious, most complex and most important project we've ever delivered, the chairman of INCAP, Robert Clifford, said. Clifford said INCAP hope to build as many sustainable ships as possible for the global market, both here in Australia and overseas. The company said at 130 metres hull 096 was not only the largest electric ship in the world, but also the largest electric vehicle of its kind ever built. The ship is equipped with more than 250 tonnes of batteries and has more than 40 megawatt hours of installed capacity. INCAT said the energy storage system was connected to eight electrically driven water jets and its capacity is four times larger than any previous maritime installation. Hull 096 proves that large scale low emission transport solutions are not only possible, they are ready now. INCAT's chief executive Stephen Casey said <laughs> the global shipping industry accounts for 3% of the world's annual emissions, according to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. Dr. Liam Davis, a lecturer in sustainability and urban planning at RMIT University, said because the new ship would service a regular ferry route, it could be a good use case. It could be a good use case to monitor what was effective in shipping electrification. You'd have probably thought they'd have perhaps done a study on it beforehand and, you know, they'd know things like that in advance, but, you know, I'm not a maritime expert. That is something that seems like a good use case and a good way to find what works and what doesn't in terms of electric vehicle shipping, he said. If I'm honest, that doesn't seem like a good way to do it. A good way to do it is probably to perhaps do a study beforehand before you build it and then do it. Using that to learn how we effectively do electric shipping could act as a stepping stone towards container ships and cargo ships. Imagine two of them bumping into each other. Do you know what? Not only would I not go on that ever, I wouldn't even want to go to a port where it called that. 
I honestly I can't believe it. Anyway, there you go. It's not just cars where people are stupid. It looks like it ships too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ta-da.